for staying up with us. I'm Aaron Luna. There's no easy answer to homelessness, drug use, or property crime in our region. Tonight, Washington State Representative Jenny Graham looked for solutions at an Airway Heights town hall. New on Nightside, she told our Kyle Simchuk that housing may not be the first step in getting people off the streets. Kyle. Yeah, Graham grew up in western Washington, raised a family around Spokane. She's seen the homeless crisis on both sides get worse. She says for many chronically homeless people, drug treatment needs to be the first step. The problem is, how do you help someone who doesn't want to change? The people inside this Airway Heights Town Hall are here because they're worried. Have an opportunity to let me know and let the panel know what's on their mind. What are the things that are keeping them up at night? That panel included County Prosecutor Larry Haskell along with police and fire chiefs from Airway Heights in Cheney. With all topics on the table, the Town Hall focused on homelessness. We cannot keep going the way that we're going. It's a regional issue. However, nearly all the services are in Spokane. City Council Member Lori Kinnear has said in the past that other local governments should share some of the cost because their transients have nowhere else to go. Cheney Fire Chief Tom Jenkins says it's true. We do let them know that we don't have those resources available for them. Uh, we do offer to, to give them a ride or transportation back down to Spokane, which, you know, as you say that publicly, it feels horrible, but we don't have those resources that are necessary for them. Graham says the solution needs to involve compassion and some tough love. They need to lovingly be guided into a direction in which they can get the help that they need. The state rep endorsed Nadine Woodward, who floated the idea of drug treatment or jail. County Prosecutor Larry Haskell says it's not that simple. Most drug and property crimes are Class C felonies, the least serious. Well, how can somebody have 35 felonies when there's a three-strike system? The three-strike system is a very narrow group of violent, serious violent crimes. There's really not a effective deterrent in terms of, hey, look, you get treatment or you're going to go to jail for a long time. They all know they're not going to go to jail for a long time. I'm Kyle Simchuk for News Nightside.